Hello, this is Ranga Reddy. So, this session will be focusing uh, on new features, features of rational test real time version 8. And before starting this, let me focus what are the existing features of RTRT. So in the existing system that means before a version 8 you have the unit testing feature, software integration testing, electronic control unit testing, hardware in loop integration testing and sub subsystem integration testing. So all you can do with the integration of rational quality manager which is a quality management tool which allows manual testing as well as uh, automated test testing management. So once this software unit testing or integration testing is done, it generates the code coverage, memory profile, performance profile, runtime trace, static code analysis according to MISRA's standard. So the input to this testing tool is C, C++, Sada or Java. Once these are provided to testing tool, it generates the test edition environment generate test harness and generate stubs it builds the executable using cross compiler and executes the executable on the given target environment or any microcontroller etc and generates the test results now let me come back to our actual agenda of this program so RTRT basically coming in two flavors, one is Studio, other one is Eclipse. Now this is the dashboard that uh, come coming in the Eclipse. So if you can see the left hand pane is a project explorer wherein you can create uh, your own projects. And the middle one is a code editor. And below you can see a lot of other tabs is build tab, tasks, console, property, call graph, like that. And if you see the right, uh, right side top one, you can set the perspective. Now current perspective in this window is CC++. And you can migrate to team synchronizing perspective which is allowing to synchronize with RTC. And this is one of the features of RTRT is call graph. Once the C source code is given, so it generates that call graph where you can see the relationship between all functions in the application. And now you have the choice to select a function to be tested or select any function. So RTRT will generate some visual diagram to initialize your variables and set the behavior of stubs and calling to the functions under test and any checks against the given variables available variables in the function so now in this window it is showing all the variables available in the function here you can use the drop down box to initialize this variables and write your expected values so now you have another facility to set the build settings you can set that stub behavior requirements and some header code and all then it will generate once uh, every settings are done so it executed then it generates memory profile performance profile runtime trace code coverage and with all you can see everything in Rational Quality Manager which is a quality management tool so you can see it will allow you to write test plan you can write test cases manage your labs and execute it that RTRT is generating test reports where generated any defects you can submit to the defect management tool <coughs> 